Thank you so much for stepping away from cleaning the bathroom. Well, you're very welcome. You're a trooper. Guys, I'm 25 weeks pregnant, so um, Dan's been taking on a lot. I can't, like, easily bend over right now and, like, clean a tub or clean a toilet, clean a sink. And we have family coming soon. We're getting married soon. Baby's on the way. We should have hired a cleaner. I don't mind. I mean, I have been on my hands and knees a lot as of late, but Stephanie's got a bun, bun in the oven and uh it's yeah. the least i can do well thank you very much we're well, talking about dating what, what do you need to know we're talking about dating and do you remember when we first met i was wearing extensions at the time right alternative hair but i didn't tell you right away i was really nervous of what you were going to say right. or if you would or if you were gonna judge me kind of thing you're a little self-conscious about it and you you know you wanted to make a good impression on me because you know i'm i'm quite the catch <laughs> and, uh, that's exactly <laughs> it is i wanted to make a good impression and yeah. i didn't know if by telling you that i wore wigs are you gonna be like Eh, I don't like that so I'm just not gonna see her anymore so that's why I didn't say it right away I pretty much knew right away that you had extensions in your hair I maybe didn't know that they were called extensions but I knew yeah. that like you had some sort of enhancements in your hair but but ultimately that really didn't because like, it was it was really thick yeah I mean it's really thick uh, ultimately like, that didn't really like deter me from wanting to pursue you more or to pursue a relationship with you because really? well because i mean well this is the first time i'm hearing about this so well, this is cool guys well like everybody has their imperfections and that's what makes us humans like if we didn't have imperfections like that would be kind of weird you'd be like a robot if you didn't have any imperfections so yeah. i mean i have imperfections i have things that I'm insecure about. I think when two people are getting together, if I'm gonna judge you for something that you're doing to enhance your hair or make yourself feel better, well then I think I need to take a really good look at myself and be like, like, why are you judging people based on like them trying to feel better about themselves? So yeah, so I think like what a lot of people are concerned about is at the beginning stages like yes so you're you're a good guy i feel like there's lots of good guys maybe with your mentality out there that's really not going to care right but it's just the like when would you suggest we tell you because for example i'm wearing a wig right now and you know because we've been together for eight years heck we're getting married soon but like i have one rule don't touch my hair like i don't i don't like your hands ever going in my hair like yeah. when we kiss and stuff like you just know to avoid my hair don't pull my hair don't touch my hair when's At a good time to to tell the person that you're dating that that you, you wear a wig i don't think there's really a good time i think you just need to let it happen organically and I think, well, for me personally, like knowing like things that bother me about myself, like the more I'm afraid to expose it or the more like shy about it or uneasy about it, the worse it ends up being. So I think that you just kind of need to like let it happen organically and then just kind of not take yourself so seriously have fun with it and i know it's hard to do that's like easier said than done you know it's funny i literally but, said that exact same thing on the other video is that's what i try to do i try to make it as fun as possible so wigs are fun so the thing is is like if you truly love wearing wigs and you find them fun and they bring you so much joy when you're telling the other person about it that should come across like just right. be able to express it in that way and i think they're going to feel that coming from you exactly and they're excuse me i just burped and they're gonna become like equally excited for you and yeah. they're gonna understand your passion when i'm looking for wigs online or we come across a store that has a bunch of wigs i'll pull him in the store and be like oh i want to look at this and he just comes along for the ride because he understands that i have a passion for it and it's fun for me right. and even filming these videos for you guys like about wigs i talk to him about it all the time and he gets it because is it is it not because I'm always excited when I'm Yeah, I mean it's a passion of yours, you're you're excited about it and I'm on board with you on that. What I do like about Stephanie wearing wigs is I remember when you used to wear hair extensions and just the struggles that you had with the hair extensions, you telling me that it's not really that great for your hair. So now that you've transitioned over to wigs and you're having fun with it and you got lots of different looks, which is which is awesome for, for men, like you know, you can have, be with a girl and she can change her look all the time. That's, that's friggin' awesome. Um, but now that you have, uh, wigs in, 
Um, it's a lot healthier for your hair. It's your hair is more protected now. You're not putting. Um, I don't know how bad um, hair extensions are because I'm not really like in that whole hair space. But I think that like your hair has become more healthier now that um, you've, you're wearing wigs instead of uh, other things. So that makes me that makes me happy. Happy wife, happy life. Yes, happy wife, <laughs> happy life. I think it's just like when you really care about someone, you want to see them happy, and yeah. so it doesn't really matter where that happiness comes from. Um, it's that's yeah. what you're seeking for each other and that's what matters and so i think that's sort of the point of this video and the whole point of like bringing him on is to show you guys that yeah there's lots of people in this world that probably have a similar mentality who's a good person like genuine from within and they're gonna understand your passion and joy for something and i think the only insecurity that maybe you have is really coming just from you and so that's something to realize that's something i realized was this isn't an insecurity that dan is gonna you know like judge me for wearing wigs and things like that it's just my own insecurity and so when i got mm. to the point of like i'm just gonna talk to him about it and be excited about it if you're going out on a first date with somebody or you meet someone for the first time and they're going to judge you because of um, a wig that you're wearing or um, extensions that you're wearing. You're enjoying your hair. You think you look amazing, which you probably do. Then if that guy or girl or whoever you're seeing or, or dating at the time is going to judge you for that or is not on board or is weird about it, then thank the friggin lord because you just avoided getting into a long-term relationship with probably a douchebag so that's right move on how do you to... like my hair now amazing <laughs> see he doesn't You're a care new person. he doesn't <laughs> care another question that people asked is okay so what if you haven't told them yet it's still new of a relationship and then you're in the bedroom right what if the wig came off <laughs> and you weren't well, aware like like I mean, that could happen, then, but... What would be your response? Okay, we're in the bedroom. My wig just came off. I think that, like, my response... If you just have... Like, again, you just kind of got to try and, like, not take yourself so seriously. And, and it's not... It's, it's easier said than done sometimes, but try not to take yourself so seriously. Have fun with it. If it goes flying off and flies <laughs> across the room, then, you know... Have fun about it, and like if, laugh about if the it, person you're with is, again, if the person you're with is weirded out about it or judges you for it, and you're having fun and you're able to laugh it off, then they're not the right person for you. And if they do laugh about it too, and they don't care, and they have fun about it, then that'll I feel like that'll deepen your connect connection with that person even more. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming on. So, can I get back to cleaning? <laughs> can go, you can go back to cleaning yes. now. So, yeah. um, I'm just going to wrap up this video, but thank you so much for coming on. No problem. I wasn't sure how that was going to go, but I think he expressed it in the way that I knew he would. Um, ultimately, what it comes down to is the person you're going to be with accepting of you or not because at the end of the day if you're going to wear wigs if this is something that makes you happy brings you joy um you find fulfillment in gives you confidence whatever it is the person who's going to be with you or stand beside you or the person that you're going to want to date is going to be someone who supports that, right? And you heard it from a guy that was like really cool when I met him. Like when I first met him, like he's 6'4", I'm 5'8". So like when I first met him, I remember like looking up, oh my God, he's so tall. Like he's really handsome. We were a lot younger. Like this is like going back, I want to say like eight and a half years now. And I remember being so worried, like, he's this really handsome guy and, you know, he's like popular, he has a lot of friends. Is he going to care? Like, couldn't he just get another woman who has like actual hair and like doesn't wear wigs or extensions or anything? That was my own insecurity. And so when I finally realized that, that I just gotta be myself. As soon as I started just being myself, you know, we became best friends, we fell more in love, 
we got engaged. We've actually been engaged for six years now. We're finally getting married. Beautiful things happen to people who are truly authentically themselves. So I think if nothing else, that's what I wanted to bring to this video. I hope that it did come across that way. And I hope you guys enjoyed hearing from a guy. If you liked it, please hit that like button. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe because I'd love for you to come back again. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you next time.